Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the charge from your cyclic voltammetry data using Aftermath. In this video we'll be using Aftermath version 1.5.9807. Let's get started. Okay, so I have a cyclic voltammogram of children's Tylenol. Um, and I want to calculate the area under the curve. I want to figure out how much charge, how many molecules um, passed during the anodic and cathodic sweep. And to do this, we're taught you need to determine what the area under the curve is. But the area under the curve of the cyclic voltammogram will not give you units of coulombs of charge, it'll give you watts. And that's because we have current as the y-axis and we have potential as the x-axis. What we need is current as the y-axis and time as the x-axis. And luckily, Aftermath already provides us with that plot. If you go into the experiment node and then click on other plots, click on current, we now have a current as a function of time plot. So this is a sometimes called an unfolded cyclic voltammogram where we look at the current as a function of time. Now to determine the area under the curve, to calculate the charge, I'm going to left click to select the trace, and then I'm going to right click, and then I'm going to add tool, and then click on area. And then boom! What do you got? I got, we got dots. We got dots, folks. We have uh, we got some black dots. We got pink dot. We got these two green dots. So we got dots. We got lots of dots. And these dots are what we use to manipulate the area. So the area is calculated from the trace to the baseline. So this black line here is the baseline. And of course, this red curve is the trace. So if the trace is above the baseline, we get a positive charge. If the trace is below the baseline, we get a negative charge. The charge that is displayed is the sum of the positive and the negative charge. The baseline um, can be visualized using the, the two black dots, so we can extend the black dots out, and that just helps us visualize where the baseline is. The pink dot can be moved up and down, uh, adjusting the uh, where the baseline is along the y-axis, and the area adjusts accordingly, as you can see. The green dots define the area along the x-axis where the uh, charge is calculated. So as you can see, I can move these green dots uh, back and forth along the x-axis. And that's about it. That's how you determine the charge. If I just want the charge for this anodic wave here, I'm just gonna move this green dot over here. I'm gonna estimate this is where I want the other green dot. I'm going to generally move the area, the baseline up a little bit. And that is my calculated charge. I can now plug that into uh, use Faraday's constant and then uh, determine how many molecules were actually passed during the anodic sweep of my cyclic voltammetry experiment. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your colleagues if you think it might be beneficial for them. All right, I'll see you soon.